Hey guys, what's up? This is Twisted Corners. In today's video, we're going to learn how to permutate the last layer. So there are two steps to permutating the last layer. The first step is to permutate all the corners. Then you do all the edges. There's one algorithm to do the corners and one algorithm to do the edges. And I'll show you what they are now. The algorithm to do the corners is R prime U R prime D2. R, U prime, R prime, D2, R2. And I'll be telling you how to apply that later. Similarly, the algorithm for the edges is R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. So those are both the algorithms for solving the corners and the edges. So the first step in solving the corners is to find a pair of headlights. Basically, a pair of headlights are a pair like these two on the front of any of the faces that have two colors that are matching. So as you can see, these two colors don't match, so they're not headlights. These two colors don't match, so they're not headlights. These two colors match, so we found a pair. Not every single time there'll be a pair, but let me tell you what to do if there is. Then, you will hold it so that the pair is in the back and rotate down. Then you will apply the algorithm for solving the corners. R prime U R prime D2 R U prime R prime D2 R2. Then you'll rotate back up. And as you can see, now we can align all of the corners. So now, let me tell you what to do if there's no headlights. If there's no headlights, then you basically just apply the algorithm from any angle and they'll, um, it'll make a pair of headlights. So all you need to recognize to do the edges is the number of corners that need to be cycled. So as you can see here, one of the corners is solved, which means we have three corners that need to be cycled. If this is the case, then hold the one that is solved in the back and do the algorithm to solve the edges. That will either solve it on the first time, or if it doesn't solve it, then repeat it, and it will solve it on the second time. But if you get a case like this, where all four edges are unsolved, just do the algorithm from any angle and you will get a case where one is solved and three are unsolved. And now you can perform the algorithm again, solving the cube. Congratulations, you've just solved a Rubik's Cube. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Bye!